We are looking at a messy afternoon. First alert weather day in effect this morning. It was because of the risk of some slippery road conditions over into the higher elevations of the laurels and the ridges. And you can still see a little bit of these pink and white returns on the radar here. That's frozen precipitation, at least in the upper levels of the atmosphere. But the risk of any uh, slippery spots on roadways in portions of Indiana, Westmoreland, Fayette counties, that is now done. Temperatures have warmed up enough. It's all liquid. But we still have a freezing uh, rain chance in spots in the highest elevations down into Tucker County, Garrett County. So the winter weather advisory for Somerset and Garrett counties will expire at the top of the hour at one o'clock. But just be extra careful if you're headed over uh, to the east on the turnpike or I-68 through the afternoon or tonight. It's going to be very, very heavy rain, and we still could have a couple of slick spots as we get toward uh, sundown tonight. But overall, warm temperatures, it's going to be windy as well. Look at these wind gusts. We have a wind advisory in effect for portions of Fayette, Indiana, Westmoreland, Garrett, Preston, Tucker counties through 6 p.m. because winds are already gusting up to 20, 25 miles per hour. Even in Pittsburgh, over into the mountains, we could see wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. Let's Trobe already reporting a 35 mile per hour gust, 38 mile per hour observation in Somerset right now. So definitely those high profile vehicles, not going to be a lot of fun to drive in those windy conditions. Wind gust forecast gets a lot better after 6 p.m. We're looking at these winds dropping off and the temperatures will stay fairly steady throughout the evening. Right now it's rain everywhere, mid to upper 30s from Butler, Indiana places to the north, and then it's just plain rain from Pittsburgh to the south and west with temperatures in the lower 40s. You can see on our lens here lots of raindrops and it's overcast rain across the board on our hour by hour forecast, even by four o'clock still rain. 48 and then we stay fairly steady all the way through midnight lows tonight only in the lower to mid 40s. But as we head through the next couple of days, we have a much improved situation. Future cast times out the rain pushing to the east by dinner time. So by five o'clock, if you're still at work, the drive home should be wet, but not as heavy with the rainfall as this morning. Areas to the east get that heavy rain through this evening and by nine o'clock we're done with the rain. Temperatures stay pretty much mild overnight, even mid to lower 40s tomorrow morning, and then it's just cloudy for Wednesday. We have dry conditions. If you're traveling anywhere within about a 300 mile radius by roadway on Wednesday, should be great clear sailing and for Thanksgiving Day temperatures starting out in the mid to upper 30s, but we'll have some sunshine for Thanksgiving and temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 40s. So rain today 48 tonight. The showers ending lows only in the mid 40s for Thanksgiving Day. Temperatures right there around 46 by 1 p.m. The high right there around 50 with some partly cloudy skies. So the first alert weather day in effect just for early afternoon and then things start to improve tonight. 49 Wednesday with a few morning showers. The rest of the day tomorrow will be dry. Thursday sunshine at times 50 for Thanksgiving Day for Friday, partly cloudy 44 Saturday, Sunday, Monday temperatures still in the mid 40s. Couple of showers sneak in here Sunday and Monday.